Hey guys, Tony here. Um, been a while. Feels like it's been a while. It's definitely been a while for one of these, a recent vinyl editions video. Now, it's yeah, it's probably been about a month. I got a lot to show you. I really got to get this video made. I've wanted to make it. I was gonna last night. And it just didn't happen. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's well. I want to say real quick, the Facebook thing is great. Love communicating with all you guys, really getting to know you guys. It's like, it's so different, you know? I feel like it's much easier to express, for, I know my, for me, I think it's easier to express myself more on that sort of thing, you know? Rather than in a, in a video, you know, when I'm in a room by myself, you know? Um, but yeah, that's just me though. I hope people don't start getting uptight about it. Um, we have fun on there. I think it's fun. I mean, if it was, you know, as much as I love records and love music and everything, honestly, if it wasn't for all the people and the personalities and the things going on, and, uh, I tell you, I, I probably wouldn't be. I'd prob probably be pretty boring after a little while. But you know, I think just everybody's personalities and the fun. I swear, the other night I was just. There's been a couple instances on there where I was like just laughing uncontrollably. Um, it's been great, you know. At one, at one point, I was like, I really, I needed that. Like my stomach hurt. I was laughing so hard. But anyway, check it out or don't. Anyway, can the lost tapes? Finally got it. Been listening to it for the past couple week or so, probably. I think this is killer. I really do. To me, this is really choice can. And it's not outtakes, it's none of that. It's pretty much all unreleased stuff. There's like a couple different versions of like uh, Spoon, which is actually, you know, totally different. Um, but this is killer. Three CD set for 20, 25 bucks, man. You can't go wrong. Uh, and a great book. Everybody's show. You know, it's been shown what we're listening to now hope it's not too loud so yeah cool stuff if you like can gotta get it anyway uh, all right I'm just gonna show you what I got I'm not gonna really talk much really <laughs> uh, I don't really feel like sitting here for a half hour making this video um, finally getting some rain it's been a while it's humid as hell um, but yeah baby soon Kid is coming. Um, I imagine for a little while I'll probably be out of commission on here. So, what are you gonna do? Anyway, let me show you what I got. I'm gonna run through them quick. A lot of these, not you know, a bunch of these things have been shown um, recently. New reissues, new albums, etc. I picked up the heads. Relaxing with the heads. UK band. Stoner psych sort of stuff. You know, at a time when. I'm sure you know Brit Pop was everywhere. Um, great cover, I mean, Christ, for the cover alone. But yeah, classic, great stuff. And it's limited. It's been shown a bunch of times. So uh, a bootleg. I showed this on Facebook, and um, it's one of those things where yes, it's a bootleg. I knew it was a bootleg going in. It was at the store. I've wanted this album forever, but it, like at the store, it's in front of you. It's like even though it's a bootleg, it's hard to walk away from. So until I could get a reissue copy that isn't like 50 bucks, because I just don't want to spend this on this album, um, this is fine. Quality is all right, you know. Uh, Stone Roses, classic. I really like it. Not enough to spend 50 bucks on. I'm sorry, but it's classic. Really great stuff. Even the reissues now. I mean, with the shipping costs, because they're never in the states. It seems like. Anyway, Camel, a live album. I think somebody actually showed this recently, uh, but I picked it up for bucks. I'm pretty sure this was a UK only release, or not present in the States at least. Two LP set. I love Camel. I'm a fan. Um, my local store got a collection of a bunch of Camel. There's a couple more I might, that I don't have and might go back for. But yeah, some albums are better than others. This is really good. A couple K, few K Bush albums. Uh, this one I have not listened to. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it. I think it's her first album. Uh, the Kick Inside, U.S. Press. Uh, might be a early reissue. Cover's different, but haven't listened to it yet. 
for four bucks, I figured what the hell, has a big deletion hole. As does this one, this one's a compilation, Kate Bush, the whole story. So, happy to get it for four bucks. And this one I did listen to for, this one was Five Sensual World. This one I really liked. I believe this came out right after Hounds of Love, if I'm not mistaken. This one was good. Don't have Hounds of Love yet, I really want to get that one. Um, the Boys Next Door, Door Door, What Became the Birthday Party in the Cave, classic. It's kind of got a little bent cover, uh, bent corner there, so it was only 10 bucks. So I said, what the hell, I'll grab it. Uh, Deer Hoof, Milkman, <laughs> really out there, really weird, but excellent, I love it. Uh, Got to check out more by them. Deer Hoof, look at that cover, huh? This one I have not listened to. Mark, Dr. Deadwax, I know we were talking about this. Still haven't gotten around to it. OMD, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Self-titled album for three bucks. Figured what the hell. Uh, but yeah, I still got to spit in. Epic. This one I got to thank Mike, Bostonian Reggie for. Um, we were talking about last time we hung out. Austra, Feel It Break. This was talked about a lot in the community probably a year ago or so. Uh, 2011, maybe? 2000, yeah, 2011. This is killer. This is really, really good. Uh, blown away by it. It's two LPs. I'm not sure if it was originally released as a two LP set, but it's a two LP that just flies by, you know? I think each side is pretty short, but at the same time, it's like, it's just so good. Um, sort of... Uh, they're, they're from uh, Toronto, I think. Yeah, Toronto group. And um, sort of synth pop. Really good, though. Austria. Vila Um Ein Strazendi Neubauten, if I'm saying that right. Um, really, really good German industrial. Um, love that cover. But this one is uh, it's kind of sort of a play on their name. Endi Neu. If that's how it's actually said, they have some of the most interesting covers. Um, I first started listening to this band through Andy, 24DB, sent me some CDs a while back. I've talked about them before. And Andy, if you see this man, I've not forgotten about you. I haven't. You know what I'm talking about. I haven't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm retarded. Uh, but yeah, excellent. Really enjoyed this. Happy to get it. Oh, this is killer. Tortoise, standards, awesome, awesome post rock. I mean, Tortoise is just part of the thrill jockey ratios. Can't wait till they do more. Killer. And they did this just like the original with the cover. The silk screen, you know, cool stuff. This one I have not listened to, Dr. Feelgood. I don't know if it's sort of like post punk. Uh, I know Fred talked about this group a couple times, but yeah, I have not checked it out yet. I figured I'd grab it. This one was really good. Cocteau Twins. Um, Bluebell Knoll. Cool stuff. 4AD. Uh, Capital 4AD, or is it? Oh, I think, yeah, Capital was distributing 4AD at this time. Something like that. But cool stuff. This one's just been shown a, a, a bunch of times, actually. Um, the Entrance Band, self-titled or untitled. Pretty sure this is like a 12-inch single, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It's limited 500 only. Love the, the how they do the covers, this label. But um, yeah, it's only three tracks, so I'm pretty sure it's a 12-inch single. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, this one I'm kind of a blind buy. I never really checked this band out, um, but I'm really glad I did. It's it's actually excellent. The Sea and the Cake. Again, a Thrill Jockey reissue. I think it's pretty sure it's a reissue. Yeah. Um, the Fawn. Sort of a very sort of mellow... I don't, I don't really know shit about this band, but I, I gotta say I really like this. The Sea and the Cake. Sort of mellow indie rock. Um, uh, it's a gatefold. I'm not gonna do it right now, but cool stuff. This one again, 10 bucks. Figured I'd grab it, Gris Gris. Uh, Neo Psych, if you will. Um, but really good. 
it might be their second album. Gris Gris. Really cool stuff. Yeah, Psych. Neo Psych. I picked these up as well. They've been shown. Stereo Lab. Oh my god. Love it. Did not have this album. Did not know this album. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, Transient Random Noise Burst with Announcements. Killer. Killer. Really good reissue. Like, done really well. This one I do know. I have it on my iPod. I haven't opened this one yet. Um, Mars Audac. Audac Quintet, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. But this is excellent. Um, Stereo Lab. I mean, very crowd rock influenced. Amazing stuff. So glad they reissued these. I also picked, I only picked up one so far, Codeine reissues. Picked this up a couple weeks ago. Really, really good. Uh, Frigid Stars. This is their debut. I don't know. Slow Core. Originally came out on Sub Pop. They did these re. I'm gonna go back. There's two other ones. They did these really nice. I gotta say, it's like a. Look at that. And there's a CD. The CD's right there. Just kind of a pain in the ass to get out, but they did a really nice job with these. I gotta say. I made a comment about 180 gram and how I'm not generally a fan of it anymore. But when it's done right, it's just done right, and I got no problem with it. But like in this case, like lighting the attic, do it right. Um, but sometimes, man, 180 gram just sucks for a number of reasons. I won't get into it now. Josephus. I've uh, been wanting to get this for a while. I have Josephus Dead Man, which I'm not quite sure if this is their debut or if Dead Man was de their debut. I've read a couple different things. They're sort of a, they were a psych band, heavy sort of psych band, um, and sometimes almost country rock at times uh, from Houston, Texas, I want to say. But um, Dead Man, I really love, so, and I've wanted to get this. And it was at the store, I just never grabbed it, and of course, it was gone. And then they got in a used copy of the reissue. So happy to get it. Really good. This one I was happy. What are we looking at for time? All right, I'm going to try and make this quick. Perubu. This is a compilation, actually. Uh, Terminal Tower, an archival collection. On Twin Tone. Original. Anything on Twin Tone, you know. But Perubu, killer. So that's stuff from Dub Housing, Modern Dance. Uh, and for me, one of the most important things was um, Final Solution, which is the song that turned me on to Perubu. Uh, love that track. If they had a famous song, it's probably it, but killer. All right, so this is a cool one. So a while ago, I, I uh, actually got a free copy of Jade Warrior released, okay? That was free, and I really shouldn't complain. You know, it's written on. I know this radio station really well. They're a local station. You know, they wrote LP title, name of group, um, and the vinyl itself has a plays fine. You know, but it's got an ugly mark on it. You probably won't even be able to see it. I mean, but it plays fine. But still, the whole thing, this thing taped on the back. You know, you can look at it however you want, but it bothered the hell out of me every time I, you know, took it out. But. I'm like, if I ever find another copy, I gotta get it, you know? Sure enough, my local store got it. 12 bucks. Um, pretty close to near mint, I gotta say. Um, yeah, no fucking writing on it. You know? And yeah. It is a vertigo swirl. Near mint shape. So happy to get this. So yeah, here we go. This one is actually excellent. Felt, forget the story, I think this, the leader of this group is really young. Um, and this became one of those albums, that, you know, psych album that uh, if you found the original four, it was like, you know, worth a fortune. It's a reissue, obviously, and this is really good. Um, I gotta say, I, I'm, I really like it. Psych bordering on experimental at times. Really, really good. That cover. So if you were like uh, gonna get this and you know, we're waiting, I recommend getting it. It's excellent. 
Derek, I gotta thank Derek for this. He showed this recently. And it's one of those albums I'd heard of, like read about, never heard it. <clears throat> but it's one of those psych albums, again, like one of those legendary psych albums. Um, and then he was saying he had a copy and it was a reissue, and I never knew it was reissued. July. And speaking of Jade Warrior, July turned into Jade Warrior pretty much. A couple members formed Jade Warrior. But anyway, this is an excellent psych album. This is so good. Um, it's hard to describe. This is the kind of psych albums that I, I'm looking for. It's just killer. It is a reissue, used reissue. Uh, got it for really cheap, so look at that cover, too. I mean, this is excellent. I recommend it. Ooh. Got my eye there. Birth Control, Voodoo Man. Not really a kraut rock, um, strictly speaking. It's German heavy psych, hard rock band. Uh, at least this album is. This is really good. Really, really good. Uh, and it is on the the beautiful orange CBS label, UK pressing. Got it really cheap. So, uh, yeah, really happy to get it. I remember Fred showing this stuff uh, by this band. But, yeah, heavy psych, I would call it, you know? Cool stuff. Really nice shape. This is one for the, the the YouTube VC. Anyway, this one's happy to get, man. Uh, the Wonderful and Frightening World of the Fall. Uh, original US pressing and just pristine shape. So happy to get. I need more fall albums. Only got a couple. This one I was really happy to get. Let me take it out. The reissue of Scott Walker's The Drift, 4AD. Uh, so I guess it's pretty much a no frills reissue, but do I care, man? I'm, I'm just so happy to have the vinyl. Uh, and like I said in found Facebook, this isn't uh, family listening at all, but um, killer, heavy, heavy stuff, man. Very dark, obviously, but killer. Home, the comfort to the birds. Um, Classic. These guys, this is basically the rhythm rhythm section from Sleep, and um, you know they form some sort of an Eastern influence doom band, stoner doom. Um, really, really good. Just epic tracks. Um, Conference of the Birds. That name is taken from the uh, an epic poem. Really, um, forget the the author's name, but I forget Middle East Middle Eastern. But anyway, yeah, killer. I have God is Good, which I really love. I was happy to get this. Speaking of Conference of the Birds, I have another album called Conference of the Birds, Dave Holland Quartet. The Conference of the Birds. I've been looking for this. Um, it was talked about a while back in the community. I never see it. Um, and Mike Boston and Reggie actually posted it on Facebook the other day. And uh, I, that day or a couple days later or something, I forget. I saw it in the store and I grabbed it. So happy to get this. Dave Holland Quartet, this is phenomenal. Um, features, yeah, Sam Rivers, Anthony Braxton. Yeah, I'm not gonna try another one. But, killer, killer on ECM. Doesn't look like an ECM record to me, you know? In some ways it does, I guess, but excellent. Oh, so happy to get this. Well, when I heard this was being reissued, I was like, cool, you know? And I gotta thank Fred again for this, because I never would have even heard of this album if it wasn't for him. Uh, Annette Peacock, uh, I'm the one. Beautiful, beautiful reissue they did here. Light in the Attic, in, uh, I think, cooperation with, like, Future Days recordings. Did a very limited run, a uh, thousand copies only of this. Excellent, excellent stuff. Funky, free jazz, proggy sort of. It's hard to describe, you know, mostly pretty free jazz, experimental. Killer, killer. And this reissue is absolutely beautiful. They made it a gatefold. I don't think the original was a gatefold. Um, killer. So happy to get this. Mine is number 355 of 1,000. It comes with a poster and everything. Uh, why not? I'll take out the poster. <laughs> cool ass poster, I guess. Yeah. There you go. 
I'm gonna hang it up right there. My wife would love that. Anyway, so happy to get it. Get that put away. A couple more. Try to make it quick. Captain Beefheart. Love Captain Beefheart. Magic Band. Mirror Man. Uh, killer. Killer. So early reissue, not not an original with the. I think this opened up on an original, but yeah. So happy to get that. This one too. An album I'm actually familiar with uh, for a while now. I have a few songs downloaded from when you downloaded one song at a time, really. And um, never owned it though. Never had it on CD or vinyl. But it's been talked about quite a bit recently. Pill, Public Image Limited, Metal Box, Second Edition. You know, it's not Metal Box, but you know. Anyway, I will have Metal Box one day. Excellent. I mean, excellent. That's been talked about a lot. Um, one of the most important post-punk albums, period. Killer. This too. These next few are all just amazing stuff. Uh, John Hassel, Brian Eno, uh, Fourth World Volume One, Possible Musics. Um, killer. Just beautiful. John Hassel pretty much plays the trumpet with Eno doing his loops and electronics and killer. Killer. Really, one of the best ambient things by you know. So happy to get this one too. Just don't see this one very often. The Kinks. And I happened to see a bootleg of this the other day. Um, the Village Green Preservation Society. The Kinks are the Village Green Preservation Society. Uh, on reprise. Um, not an original, but early, early press, repress. Probably from 68, that same year. But um, yeah. Killer. The King Psych album, essentially. So happy to get this in really nice shape. I mean, the cover's got some, a little bit of wear, but nothing to complain about. And the vinyl is just beautiful. Awesome. This one, too. I've had this for a few weeks now. Henry Cow and Praise of Learning. Awesome. Awesome. One of Henry Cow's best. So happy to finally get it. Um, what's cool about this one, this one was. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it, but it is in really nice shape. It's edge wear, it looks worse there than it is. It's a little bit of wear there, but um, it is an original UK pressing on Virgin. See that? Glare and shit, but yeah, one of Henry Cow's best. Happy to finally get it, man. I really killer. Anyway, all right, last couple. 200 Motels, Frank Zappa, the soundtrack to the film. French press, French import, near mint. Um, I think this was, I forget, 15 bucks or something. So they charged me, I, had, I brought these up and had them priced. They had just come in to the store. 15 bucks and they gave me this one for free. Chunga's Revenge. Um, killer. One of the best Zap albums, I think. Killer. And they, yeah, they just gave it to me. It was um, just a little bit of wear on the cover. <clears throat> Ring wear there. But other than that, it's like beautiful. I took the record home, cleaned it up. It's, it's beautiful. So happy to get this too. Anyway, those are my finds. Took a little bit longer, as usual. 23 minutes, could be worse. <sighs> Leave me some comments. There's my phone. Thank you. See you soon.